So after creating your first application with the React JS, so let's dig deeper into it and let's learn that how can we add the elements into the React. So we need to add the elements inside the React with the help of the JSX. So what is the JSX? So the JSX is a short form of the JavaScript XML, which is combined together to the JSX and it is used to add elements into the React application. So if I want to show you the demo of the JSX, so here you can see now as we created this application, so here we have the function app and then you can see the code written inside this function is actually the JSX code. So we are writing the JSX code here. You can say we have the div, we have the header, we have so many code here. But if you will just hover over this app function, you can see what it is doing. So it is returning the JSX element. So that is the JSX element which we use inside the React to add the content into the React components. So let's learn more about the JSX into the React's official docs because they have just created the new version of the React docs and that's a perfect place to learn about the JSX. So let's move on into their docs. So here we are into the React docs which is currently in the beta version. So we are into the JSX page. We have the writing markups with the JSX and then you can see JSX is a syntax extension for the JavaScript that lets you write the HTML like markup. So the HTML is a markup language. So we read the HTML like markup inside a JavaScript file. So that's possible only with the help of the JSX. And there are other ways to write the components, but the most preferable way is the JSX. And I want to show you the demo as well here. So you can see if you are just having the HTML experience. So here you can see this is how you can convert from the HTML to the JSX to work inside the React. So suppose you have some pretty valid HTML. So here you have the h1 tag, we have the image, we have given the source, we have given the alt and then we have given the class and here we have the unordered list and for each list item we are running some list. So here you can see now this is valid HTML code and I bet you that this is a valid HTML code but if you want to just put inside the react component then how can we do this? So we have just created the export default function which is the to-do list and every react component is exported as a default and the name should be the capital letters and with the camel case format. So we have the to-do list export default function but how can we just translate this code into the JSX? So here you can see if you just copy and paste exact code then it is not going to work because you have given the h1 the image the ul and everything with there and then you can see with that you will get an error into this line because you will get the error into this line and i will explain you that why you got this error so here you can see the error you are getting so the adjacent jsx elements must be wrapped in an enclosing tag and did you want a jsx fragment inside it so this means so if you will just read the error statement one more time so the adjacent jsx elements so this jsx elements must be wrapped in an enclosing tag so what it means so it means that you need to wrap everything in an enclosing tag if we dive deeper into it and then you can see this is because the jsx is stricter and has few more rules than the html and if you read the error message below we have seen the error message that what it is saying so the adjacent jsx elements must be wrapped in an enclosing tag and then that's the error because we need to wrap everything inside the jsx and the jsx code can only contain a one single parent so only one single parent we need to write all of the things inside that if we will just move on into the application as well so what we were doing so we have this only div inside the react application we are returning just the only div because that is the rule of the jsx that you can have just only single parent and then you can just wrap all of the code inside that so here we have the div which is the only container and inside this container only we are rendering everything so here that's the react so here we can see we have some rules of the jsx as well so it returns a single root element so to return multiple elements from a component like here we were returning multiple elements like h1 we are closing the h1 we have the image we have the ul and then we have the list items and so many things so it only returns a single root element so as we did here so the app component was just returning the only single div and we have some contents inside that so that is the first rule of the JSX. So here you can see, for example, to fix that code, you can use a div to enclose the tags, to enclose all of the JSX elements. So that is the first thing. And then you can see if you don't want to use the extra div, then you can just use the empty tags as well instead of the div. So that is the first rule of the JSX. And let's see the another rule, which is close all the tags. So the JSX requires tags to be explicitly closed and the self-closing tags like the image must become the image. 
So here you can see we have some self closing tags as well inside the HTML. So we have the image tag and then it must become the image because we need to close all of the tags inside this JSX. So all tags must be closed. And then you can see we have some wrapping as well like li oranges must be returned as the li oranges and then closing the li. So that's how we can use the second rule of the JSX. And then we have the third rule as well which is the camel case for almost all of those things. So the JSX turns into the JavaScript and attribute returns in the JSX. They become the keys of the JavaScript objects. So what it is saying. So in the React, many HTML and these SVG attributes are returned in the camel case. Like here you can see in the normal, like in the normal HTML, you have the class. But here, if you are using the JSX, then it becomes a class name. So here we have the class name and if you have a video tag, then it becomes a source object. And then if you have a source object, then it becomes a source object. So here you can see you can find all of these attributes here as well inside the console as well inside the browser. And then you can see we have the pro tip as well. You can have the JSX converter as well. So here you can see you have the H1. You have the class name as well, which is the photo. And then you have this code. And then you can see if you will just update something like if you will just move this class name. If you will just use here the class and then you can see it will give you the error like the invalid term property class did you mean the class name so that should be the class name so that's how we can work inside the react so now you know that why jss exits so how can we use the jsx as well inside that so that's all for the jsx so what we are doing so what are the rules of the jsx and so many things so here you have a challenge so here you can see we have some code which is written into the normal html and then you need to convert it into the jsx so how can you do this so as for the first rule of the jsx so if we see the rules of the jsx so again all elements must have a one enclosing tag which is a parent element so what we can do so we can just return all of these things inside just a single div element so here we have the div element and then we need to just enclose all of the things inside this div so the first rule is being fixed and the second rule is now you can see now we are writing the class and that should be equals to the class name so that should be the class name and here as well this should also be the class name and then you can see now the error is still there and then we can find another box as well like we have the p class name because summary and then you can see what we are doing is we are just defining here the br tags and they are not closed so we need to just close the tags as well so for every tag we need to close the tags so here we can write the jsx to close those tags so here you can see now they are closed and still we have an error like the expected corresponding jsx closing tags for the i so here we have this i tag so here we have the bold tag and then we are writing the end we are writing the i but here you can see now we have some incorrect structure of the elements so here you can see now we have the b which is a parent so the parent is being closed before the child so we need to fix this so we need to just move this b into here and then you can see if you will do this and then you can see now the code is being solved now we have just solved this challenge and then you can see now welcome to my website and then you can see now we have just completed this so that's it for the jsx and now let's move on into the ppt to learn more about the jsx as well so we saw some rules of the jsx as well like the first rule was returns only one top element so all tags must be closed and we have the camel case attributes and then the capitalized tags are the components as we saw inside the react application and we have another rule which is the no conditional statements example like the if else so if we write the if else or any for loops inside the conditional statements inside the jsx then it is going to give you error because that is not supported inside the jsx and then you can see you can write the javascript so there's a typo so you can write the javascript code as well inside the jsx expressions so if we again move on into the react official docs so here you can see if we just click on the javascript in the jsx curly braces so you can see you have this jsx code so now you learn about the jsx so we are just returning the only single image element and then you can see you can write the javascript code as well inside the jsx so here what we are doing inside this function so we are just defining the avatar as a string so the avatar is just a string and after that you can just dynamically update the source as well of the image with the avatar so you can say you can have the avatar and then you have given the avatar as well but inside this expressions so if you write the javascript code if you write the dynamic code for rendering any list for rendering any data or anything then you need to write this inside the curly braces which is known as the expressions so you can write the javascript code inside this expressions and this is most important thing inside the jsx because only this expressions make the react js as a dynamic library 
so we need to use the curly braces a window into the javascript world so the curly braces wraps the javascript elements like here we have the const name and then you can see we have given the name to do list so we can change the name as well like i can give my name as well like the nickel and then you can see contents is going to update so we have the nickels to do list so that's it for the jsx as well so that's all about the jsx that we have covered